Heat seeking warhead. We've been hit. Sensing Coriolis deviation across orbital ring. Reading shift to west by northwest, magnitude comma two. Correcting tower balance. Releasing anchor bolt 127 through 214. Echelon siren losses now exceed 60%. Director, the Beanstalk cannot hold. The Saviorite Rebels are very close to capturing it. We have no choice. Initialize Aeon. Prepare the conduit. Roger. Director, the conduit's authorization has failed. How come? We're locked out by Professor Klaus. We can't secure access from our side. What did you say? Trinity processes syncrate at 96%. That should be good enough. Let's begin the experiment. Professor, no! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe! Once. Only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to the divine. Are you serious? Do you even fully understand that thing? What's the alternative? Do you want to just surrender this place to them? The conduit is a gift from some divine entity. It is a gateway. A gateway that will take us to an entirely new world. You're delusional. Divine Entity? The Conduit is nothing more than a meta-universe manifold! Galea... We humans are fools. We've ravaged the planet. We are on the verge of burning even the skies above. But the Conduit... could transform us into something so much more. <laughs> Galea, this is the birth of a brand new universe. Stop, Klaus! Fools, indeed. The time has come. Let me tell you about a special three-person attack which only Rex can use. If you got Pyra and Nia engaged to Rex at the same time, max out his affinity with them both, and then use a level 4 special, It'll come out as a coordinated three-person attack that you could simply never get with other blades. Its destructive power is also a cut above regular specials, so if you got Pyra and Nia engaged, be sure to use it to its fullest. Alright guys, welcome to the finale of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the last episode, Jen sacrificed himself to defeat Praetor Amalthus, once and for all. 
in this episode, we finally make it to Elysium. Let's see what Malos is up to. Let's get right into it. do some final preparation upgrades since we haven't done these in a long time. Alright, time for some new gear. Let's get going. Stop moving! Perhaps we've arrived at the end point. If we go outside, we find out. Good point. Let's have a look. Look up! The stars, they're close enough to touch. The other view is quite something, too. Look at the cloud sea all the way down there. So this is the top of the world tree. Ah, oh, that sound. Huh? What is that? It's Elysium. Elysium? This way, let's check it out. It's been a while, Father. Logos. Is that my real name? What's it mean? Logos. It has no meaning. All it represents is the ego of those who named you. How many years has it been? I forget. It has been far too long. You know why I'm here, don't you? I know it all. All that you experience is passed on to me here. 
Then, let's get straight to the point. Huh? No need to rush, my child. I'm fading. I'll be gone. Soon enough. Is that right? Then I'll take it all. Do as you wish. If you believe that is your role. <laughs> is that choice really mine? Answer me. This is what I came to hear. It is a choice you made, together. Good answer. Thanks for creating me. Ah. And here comes the other answer. sure is bright. Yeah, it's right through here. I'm sure of it. We've almost reached Elysium. What? What is this place? No. Ah. Uh. Can this place really be Elysium? Where's the greenery? The water? Birdsong? There's nothing! Nothing here at all! What a wretched sight. I have not seen anything like this in all my years on Orrest. Pyra! I don't understand. I don't get it! This... This is not how I... remember. That bell sound must be coming from somewhere. Is someone here? Hmm... Over there... Poppy detect one big thing, kind of like building, over that direction. Sound seemed like it come from there. That building, eh? Then there's no point hanging around here. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Let's go, Rex. All right. It might still be okay. Maybe it's just this bit that's destroyed. <sighs> there's bound to be something over that way. Well, we made it to Elysium, but it looks like it's all destroyed. So, this is Elysium. No use pondering now, let's keep moving. <clears throat>
What can you even collect here? Just get random fruits from a dead tree. Alright, game. This looks like a water tower. Maybe this place used to be covered in trees and flowers like Gormont. This place looks like it was once a city, and quite an old one at that. It's actually a lot like the stuff we saw in Moritha. Way more dusty, though. Maybe because it's so dry up here. Huh? It seems to have been a child's vehicle. Right. So that means people lived here once. It must have been a grand old city. It stretches further than the eye can see. You could fit the entire population of all rest into this place, and with room to spare. where the people who lived in Elysium would come to play. I don't really get how to use any of these. It's kind of funny to think about how different the cultures between the people of Allrest and the people of Earth are. They aren't completely different. That it? The bells have stopped. A signal we should enter, perhaps? We probably should. Welcome home, my children. Who's there? Father? What? You don't mean... The architect is here, but where? I am always here. Come to me. Over there is staircase. It seems to lead to a lower level. Hmm. Guess we have to. Okay. First we had a little dialogue thing. This looks like a pipe organ, but it's not making any sound now. Alright, let's journey on down.
The building's holding up well inside. Quality of structural materials much better than in city outside. This made of same substance as World Tree itself. Same as the World Tree. <laughs> huh? Hey, where is everyone? Pyra! Gramps! Pyra! Mithra! Danian Imperial Army. Their equipment looks ancient. Like it's come from the past. What is up with this place? Uh! Nia! Dromark! I'm so glad you... Why, Rex? Huh? You told us Elysium was real! My lady and I traveled all this way at your behest. Master Rex, did you intentionally deceive us? I trusted you, you know. I came here because I trusted you! N Nia! Dromark, what are you talking about? How do you explain this? Y you've got it wrong. I told you. I promised Pyra to... Pyra. Oh, right. Pyra. Pyra. Pyra, Pyra, Pyra. Is that it? You've only got eyes for her. Get your head out of your ass. Nia, you're being weird. What is going on? My lady has given up everything for you, yet still you realize nothing. Even now you cannot see. I've been here all along. Why won't you realize? Look! Just look at me, Rex! Beware an attack. Let's show them a thing or three. I expected that to happen because it changed my blade setup for no reason. It's fine. We'll get them like, I could have just took out Pyra and just put nothing there. It took out my main lifeline. Speaking of which, let's level up some arts. Yeah, one 
little spinning edge to get up. Even though we don't exactly have them with us. Okay, I need this to get up big time. main way you want to get through this if you weren't over leveled or just really really broken is you want to bring a hammer because you can heal yourself that way <clears throat> while also tanking it's really nice to have one whether it's cassandra or electra because you get that nice tasty spike damage I'm sorry. Answer me, Rex. Why did you lie to us? How could you betray our trust? Uh, Why would Nia and Dromok? You really are a fool. Ah! Morag? Bridget? Huh? Moradain? You're so thoughtless. Morag! Here you are, wasting time! And all the while, my countrymen are... Do you have any idea what you've done? What... What are you... You just run ahead, without a thought for anyone else, and this is the result! I couldn't save anyone. If only we hadn't come here. I could have saved my people. I could have saved Niall! If only it weren't for you, Rex! But me? I didn't mean to... I hope you're happy now. You've dragged us to some empty ruins! I hope that was worth everything we've sacrificed! Let's show him a thing or three. Eat it! Looks like someone's dead! My dead body! My dog's exactly hurt! 
Thanks for that. Power hammer. Mighty beasts. You should step back. My people. This is all my fault. Why not? Wind. Please stop this. What's the use in fighting amongst ourselves now? What's the use? For vengeance! What more reason do I need? What? That's right. We must take our vengeance. For the thousands of lives you have stolen! I killed! N no way! I didn't! I'll have your life for an apology, Rex! <laughs> Stop right there! How dare you run! What is this place? What's wrong with everyone? Pyra! Mithra! Grams! Where are you? Where are you guys? Why Rex Rex run? Tora! Poppy! Zeke and Pandoria! Don't tell me you're all... You having fun, chum? Playing the hero like the kid you are, stringing us adults along. That, that, that's not... Rex Rex's bad friend. Why Rex Rex become driver when Tora cannot become driver? Tora tries so hard, and for what? It's useless! Master Pawn is right. Rex just have a little luck and become driver of Aegis? Poppy never asked to be born as imitation. Poppy want to be real, too. Not fair! I bet it felt real good, didn't it? Getting special treatment from everyone. Getting chosen by the Aegis. Who decided you should have all that power? How about you hand it over to the prince right now? He deserves it. Stop it already! I did nothing wrong to any of you. So you haven't worked that out either. In your hurry to get here, you never stop to consider all the things you left lying in your wake. Okay, I'm to take you down. The Aegis isn't Eat for the it. likes of you. She's a Exactly. Watch down. Dynamic spark sword. Magnificent. What's much of life? Maybe things will get interesting now. Oh yeah. Yeah. No one. Shut up! Enough! Stop! Uh, Tora, Poppy. No, I never wanted this. Zeke, Pandoria. What are you doing, Rex? What? Huh? 
Gramps. This place. What is the point? Well, Gramps, what is the point of us, really? We are born as blades, then return to our slumber, again and again, over countless years, until we become titans, to wander this world for countless more. And at the end of it all, we sink into nothingness. Have you ever thought about it? What it means to exist for close to an eternity with no clear purpose or goal? That's... Must be nice to be human. Living for a limited time, thinking limited thoughts. It must be so much easier. I envy your kind. Just think, Rex, would you? What would you do if you were me? Would you be happy to drift around the ocean with a human on your back? Is that all I am to be? I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. Why are you asking me? You're being strange. Everyone's acting so strange. Welcome back. You're late, Rex. Where did you wander off to? Pyra. Mithra. Come on. Let's go ahead and eat. I've cooked up a whole bunch of your favorites. I hope you've got room. Well, eat up. Which kind of bread do you want? Oh, uh, um, maybe this and this. There you go. Th thanks. Hey, do you want some wine? Oops. <laughs> You're too young. Silly me. Mithra, has something happened? What do you mean? It's just you're a lot nicer than normal. Stop it. I'm always nice to you, aren't I? If, if you say so. Hey, Rex, come on. How can you sit down to eat without washing your hands first? That's a faux pas. Go wash your hands right now. Um, sorry. You're acting almost like Mithra today, Pyra. Did you scrub them properly? Yeah. They're clean. Great. Okay, then. Let's eat. Thanks for the food. Um... It looks really good. Tastes even better. 
Of course it does. After all, I made it myself. Maybe I'll try my hand next time. Mithra, no. You know how that always ends. But carbon's good for you. Anyway, I want to do something nice for Rex, too. No cooking. Who's going to save the world if Rex gets the runs? You're so mean. It was only that one time. Um, it's okay, you two. I don't care who cooks. I'm just happy with... I'm happy with... <laughs> Rex. It's so strange. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Everyone's all wrong. They all said I... But now you two... Did... Did I go wrong somewhere? I think that's enough. Please, Father. You guys. Uh, Rex. Why are we all here? I thought I was... I merely wished to examine the shapes of your hearts. That voice. Your... My name is Klaus, the architect of this world. I have watched over you all this time. I have seen your thoughts, your desires, the things you have achieved. So you did that just now? Yes, those were not your present forms but alternate possibilities. Your other selves that lie within. That is what I wanted to see. Our other selves? You mean we're all thinking stuff like that, deep down? Was that how we really feel? Then you saw it too? Looks like we were all shown the same kind of stuff. It creeped me out. What are you trying to prove? Those were the fears you harbor. I don't get it at all. What was your purpose in showing us this? Those were not pleasant visions to behold. My only purpose was to find out how mankind has changed and where it is headed. And were you disappointed? No. As you stand before me right now, that is who you are. That is enough. Architect, sir. I came here because I met Pyra. Is this really Elysium? Are you really? I will show you everything. Memories. Mine, and those of this planet. This world was once the stage of a struggle for survival that dwarfed this current predicament. The world was an unseemly place, though glimpses of beauty persisted. 
What should people live for? Who should they live for? They live for themselves. To harbor desires and struggle to realize them. That is the natural state of man. But I did not think that was good enough. I lost hope for mankind. I searched tirelessly for an outside solution. And one day I found it, the conduit. Why it chose to appear before us, I do not know. However, its existence presented a new possibility. Possibility? Our world was not the only one. Endless universes coexist, side by side, yet all completely unaware of one another. The conduit was our link to these foreign worlds. And I opened that forbidden gateway, praying that it would change the world. You have seen the plain called Moritha, have you not? That is what remains of my world. When I opened the conduit, Many people and many things disappeared into distant dimensions. All that remained here were the ruins of Moritha and half of my body. Your yeah, body? Half of me lives on in some other dimension. But, not for much longer. What do you mean? The moment of my other self's demise draws near. Father, you... I was a fool. Because of my foolishness, I lost everything. Left here, alone and broken, I longed for oblivion. But even that eluded me. This is my punishment. Retribution from on high for the sin I have committed. On high? There was only one thing I could do. I had to atone for my sin. I swore to restore this world. The first thing I created was a special particulate substance with the ability to restore deteriorated matter. You all know it as the Cloud Sea. The Cloud Sea can disassemble matter it comes in contact with and rebuild it in the image of all the things that once made up this world. This way, Little by little, I could rebuild the world I had brought to ruin. Next, I began to recreate life. I gathered miniature vessels containing memories of all this planet's former life forms. And I scattered them across the Cloud Sea. These are the core crystals. The crystals bonded with the Cloud Sea's particulate reconstructors and formed the nuclei of new life. Those nuclei developed into minute life forms, the Titans, who would, over time, grow larger and larger. Finally, the Titans gave birth to complex organisms based on the data in their core crystals. This newly birthed life 
over untold millennia, evolved into a new breed of mankind. So that's how we came to live in this world. But... I did not trust this world, born as it had been. What if it were to repeat our mistakes? What if... someone like me appeared? To stave off these doubts, I implemented one final measure. And so the blades were born. <sighs> Ontos, Logos, and Numa. The three cores of the Trinity Processor formed their cornerstone. However, Ontos triggered a space-time transition event and disappeared forever. I was left with the other two, Logos and Numa, and trusting them with managing the blades. Malos and Pyra. Those are the names that you now know them under. So... I am... Numa. Managing? The core crystals at the heart of each blade are tasked with relaying all kinds of information to Logos and Numa about the selection pressures of the outside world and the biological status of their bonded human, but also the experiences and emotions they share. As the data continually accrues, new evolutionary code is sent back to the core crystals. And this code is used to create new, further evolved blades. These blades too become titans in time and create new generations of life forms. This was the new circle of life I had created. A grand scheme. It boggles the mind, Dad. So we're all born from this endless cycle of life to replace the victims of the previous world. That's right. But there were also a handful of survivors. I believe you saw them when you were in Moritha. The unfortunate ones who clung to life. Ah. You mean those monsters? Were they originally people? Core crystals were first conceived as a replacement for human brain cells, a product of mankind's age-old quest for immortality. And that's what became of them. How awful. But that technology became the starting point for the creation of blades and titans. So, in one sense, their sacrifice was not in vain. Though not all may see it as such. So tell us, in the end, did we develop as you had hoped? What do you think? I couldn't possibly. Well, those phantasms which you all experienced earlier, those are feelings that lurk in all of your hearts. As well as that man, Amalthasus. When a person loses something, they cannot help but seek a reason why. Within themselves, or in others. They seek a concrete answer to the question of who they really are, deep inside such a very lonely existence but perhaps that is what it is to be human 
All this data passed through me, and I knew. Huh. All of you. You were not in any way different from us before. Oh. That's why I did not intervene. Five hundred years ago, when the man finally arrived here, I did nothing when he took away Logos and Numa. I stood and watched as Logos, instantiated into blade form, set out to purge the world. You don't make sense. Didn't you go to all that trouble to rebuild it? Then why would you... It is fate. Fate? It is fated to happen. It cannot but happen. My atonement was doomed from the start. That can't be. I had made my peace with it. Once more, I longed for nothing more than to disappear. However, something has now changed. And that is you, Rex. You and Numa. Me? And Pyra and Mithra? You reforged your bond in a way I had not thought possible. And the life you share. Moreover, the conduit which fell into a stubborn silence after the world's end has begun stirring once more. Rex, the power you and Numa exercise is the conduit's power. It comes leaking out of some far-flung dimension. And it is a power we can know nothing about. But with its help, the world may be about to change. What's all this shaking? It is Logos. Malos. Trying to destroy this world and everything in it. What? Remember, at heart, he is but an information processing unit. Neither good nor evil. He is driven by a certain impulse. The despair that the man named Amalthus felt. I see. So it was right. What I felt back then, I mean. Rex. Rex. What is it you desire? What else? To stop Malos. And if you succeed? I'll punch him in his stupid face, and then... probably get a drink with him or something. That's the sixth rule of the Salvager's Code. First have a punch out, then drink to forget. Once you've forgotten, the friendship's all set. I'm... not old enough to drink yet, though. I see. Numa. No, I should call you Pyra and Mithra. What is it? I want to apologize for having burdened you with all this. Don't worry. We're actually grateful. Thanks to you, Father, we got to meet Rex and everyone else. Those are cherished memories. Father. I have transferred all of Elysium's data and authorizations to you. Make me proud. We will. Rex. Yes. I will disappear soon. When I do, the conduit will likely disappear from this world. 
You will not be able to use your power forever. I understand. We'll make do somehow. I'm counting on you. Close. Mm. Have you changed your mind about this world? Right now, I think I am glad I met you all. Got it. Then, our answers match. Thank you for giving us all life. Pyra, where's Malos? If he is here, I know where he must have gone. Where is it? Tell us. The greatest of all artifices. The artifice that exists solely to destroy the world. Ion. Ion? So that's what Malos meant. Then, that's where we'll go. Counting on you. Let's sock it to him. All right. To speak with Klaus one last time. I will disappear soon. When I do, the conduit will likely disappear from this world. You will not be able to use your power forever. Be counting on me. Pyra, Mithra, and Rex. So let's go defeat Malos. Sirens? He's really trying to destroy all of Orest. Let's hurry, guys!
lost the upper hand. Congratulations. Here's the final rest before we have to go and fight Malos and end this. We're ready to go. We got all our blades uh, ready. We got all of our final skills. Let's do this. There's no turning back. Malos! Just in time for the final act, boy. I've saved you the best seats in the house. <laughs> I sounded just like Akos for a moment there. Akos is dead, you bastard. So is Petroka. And Jen. Figured as much. Is that all? What? You want me to weep and deliver a eulogy? What good would that do? They all desired oblivion, and now they've achieved it. Least I can do is send them off with a smile. Malos, is this really what you want? Huh? Is this what you want, Malos? I don't understand the question. You must understand by now that none of this is your own will. <laughs> you have to see all of this came from Amalthus. Even if that's true, so what? And don't give me some weak-ass crap about how I should repent or whatever. Why don't you want to hear the truth? Here's the thing. I don't give a rat's ass what you think, rat! So blades become titans, and titans give life to humans. Honestly, who even gives a damn? They can become whatever they want. But that man, he'd lost everything. He no longer wanted anything. He didn't even want to live anymore. And despite that, his life was the one thing he hadn't lost. Because he couldn't! The thought of you forgetting me, it's like one heart is being ripped in two. Words can be a curse. That curse was what kept him tied down here. A wretched tale, isn't it? This whole world is a wretched place. Do not forget that you two are a part of that world. If it were not for you, 
For Amalthus? Both Jin and Laura's lives may have taken quite different paths. Exactly. That's exactly it. You've gotten smarter with age, huh? I'm a wretched being, too. A hideous monster, far beyond saving! So... Let's end this now. Don't you feel anything? Father's sadness, the world he longed for. How could I? That isn't my role in this world. This man, does he mean to... Show me all of it! The extent of your will! Show me why you're here in this world!
anyone today. My lady! Zumak! Don't trouble yourself. It's nothing. Change if that's all you got. myself if it helps put smiles on people's faces helps them live their lives together then that's my role in this world Jin told me to take care of you in his place you know Jin never wanted to die he just wanted to connect with you he did it because you showed him a path and how many people died because of it? You'd forgive him just like that? Forgiving isn't that easy, but that's just the world we live in. We need to find a way forward within that world. Even you used to think like that What? Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! Hurry, the time is nigh. As shown in that cutscene, there's where the connection lies. That little line of dialogue connects these two games that we've been playing over the span of, what is it, eight months now? Why not? 
not a uh. Still did some tasty damage. Let's go ahead. Deal the final attack of the game. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. Here I go! Yeah! Is the last gift I can offer you. The rest is up to you, my children. It's been fun, kid. Malos. If only I'd met you sooner. <laughs> Just think of the worlds I might have seen. But even so... If... If I had been your driver, all of this... <laughs> Kids say the damnedest things. There was only one driver for me. All... In all... It wasn't... So bad. Malos.
Looks like he's finally found it. Lady Moray. A meaning to his life. Indeed. Frankly, I'm a little jealous. After all, most people go their whole lives without finding theirs. <laughs> I wonder if I'll find mine. You've got one already, haven't you? And if what you've got isn't enough for you, well, you can always leave things to the next generation. <laughs> you've got a point. Surprisingly enough. What's going on? Th that's... What? What's happened? At this rate, all of Elysium will collapse. What? Since the conduit disappeared, the power holding Elysium together was cut off. What's gonna happen when it grumbles? Not... Everything above this point will either orbit the planet or be flung into space by centrifugal force. However, everything below this point, the world tree itself, will fall apart on top of all rest. No, that can't. The impact would destroy. There. There has to be a way to stop it. Hyra, please! <sighs> Pyra! There is one way. Just one way to prevent it. Five stories down from here, there's a control room for the correction boosters. If we can fire the booster jets and accelerate the whole world tree beyond escape velocity... Look, I haven't got a clue about boosters or velocities, but... I'm gathering that we gotta get there, and fast. Okay, five floors down. Let's hurry! Azurda! Poppy! Hmm? What did you say? Poppy could not possibly. Please. You're the only ones I can ask. But... Poppy. You promised. Didn't you? <laughs> that below belt. Please. Piece of work.
What? What is this? Ships. Is this a port? Oh. <gasps> Pyra? What are you doing there? Where's the control room? Pyra! You can't mean... I'm sorry. This was the first lie I ever told you. Pyra! The only way to stop the World Tree's collapse is to use the last of Ion's power and annihilate the World Tree. I'm sorry, it is the only way. You all need to use one of those escape vessels and get as far away as possible. What? The last of Ions. Pyra! What are you doing? It'll it'll be fine, right? You'll deal with the world tree, then come back, right? <sighs> wait! Just wait, I'll come with you! Damn it! There's not enough wire! I got it. Poppy? Poppy? It's not okay. Huh. Poppy cannot. What do you mean you can't? Poppy made promise. Pyra say that Rex for sure ask Poppy. Say not help Rex, no matter what. What kind of promise is that? Please, I'm begging you. All you gotta do is take me over there. The rest of you can just... Rex. Come on. Please. She's right there. <laughs> Rex. Gramps! Sometimes a man must know when to let go. Why? Why? Do it for her, Rex. Do as she asks. Gramps! Chum, how long are you planning on being a baby? She's the girl you love. You've got to accept her decision. That's what being an adult means. Rex, I am so thankful that I've met all of you. Right.
Cold crystal. You'll be fine without me now. Fire up. Hello there. I hope you'll help me. Time together was short, a fraction of my long, long years. But it's been warmer and brighter than any time I can remember before. You shone a light on my melancholy path. You showed me the way. So tell me, how was it, being alive? Do you really want to know? Well... Suit me best. Grumps! We're heading down. 
Everybody grab onto something. Cloud C is... The Titans are... gone. I can't believe it. Is everyone dead? We were too late. At the land of Martha. So there's nothing left of the world but ruins? We're crossing that rift! Titans. They're joining with the land. It's true. I think. I see what Klaus meant by restoring the world. Gramps? So Elysium was... here. All along. You know, Rex, I think you're all right. We're finally here. Alright guys, thank you for uh, joining me on this playthrough with me and my friend Noah. It was a hell of a series. A little bit of coppa bullshit in the middle, but yeah, I had fun with this. Um, as for the future of series on this channel, 
Nier will continue eventually. I'm going to be working hard on that. It'll be a while, but I want to make that series perfect as I can do it. Um, Noah, he's got his whole Xenoblade X thing going on, so if you want to check that out, that's going to be going. Animal Crossing New Horizons is on the horizon pretty much a month away. I'm going to be streaming that every day. I don't know about Dragon Block. Depends on if my computer can do it. Might Chances are I might do it. But yeah, that's, that's the end of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm going to let this play out for you guys. And then, uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Cuddle by